Hi, I'm Trisha Pine from RejoiceInYourVoice.com. This is part two of a five-part series showing you creative ways to integrate breath into your singing. I'm going to show you today how to use an exercise squat to do that. Now, I've given you full explanation step-by-step step in the blog, so I'm not going to say much during this explanation, during this demonstration. I'm just going to show you what happens, okay? Step one, getting your breath right from the standing position. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see it. I've got my hand right here. Once I feel comfortable in the standing breathing coordination, then I add the squat. The most important thing about this step is to make sure that the movement is on the exhale, is exactly on it, that movement and breath are one. So now I'm going to add a sustained tone to this as well. Breath, movement, tone are all one. Ah. 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 I'm going to turn to the side now and do it. And sometimes when I'm doing this, I will continue to squat through the entire breath once I get started. Make sure that your jaw is relaxed, your tongue is relaxed, the back of your neck is relaxed, that that low diaphragmatic breath is connected. Remain tension free as you're doing this exercise. And again, use it in small dosages as you're working on a piece. So go try it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. And then once you've done the sustain tone, add in a melody to that as well. Pick your own little four measures or something and, and try that as well using that squat on your breath and um, squat while you're breathing. And I find students really open up with this. I have opened up with this. The tone, the sound, the breathing and the coordination, it is something that you can feel in your body. And for kinesthetic learners, it's just a dream come true. I'm Trisha Pine. Until next week, rejoice in your voice. Bye-bye.